Hello friends, this video on vector algebra part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 17. Please pay a little attention here. Now we are going to understand a critical topic of position of a vector in the line. So if I have some vector, let's suppose there is some vector AB which makes theta angle with some line, then we say the projection of AB the projection of AB on line L is a vector actually with some magnitude. The magnitude will be AB cos theta, right? And direction will be same or opposite of the line depending on the angle of theta. For example, let's suppose I have this uh, XYZ axis, I have some point P here. And this is my vector P. And the magnitude of the vector is R, let's suppose, right? Now, if I want, if this guy makes, let's suppose, theta y with y axis, then I'll say the projection of this vector p along y axis, again, is a vector, is again a vector, which is nothing but r, because r is the magnitude of this vector, cos theta y, and direction will be along y, so it will be zika. This will be the projection of this vector along y axis. Similarly, let's suppose this guy makes uh, theta z with the z axis. So, this guy vector will be again a vector, position will be a vector with uh, magnitude as r cos theta z and direction will be along k axis. Correct. Similarly, in this case also, if I want to find the projection of this again vector with x axis, I have to find the angle which this guy with make, it, it makes with x axis and let's suppose it is theta x. So, in that case, this will again be a vector uh, with magnitude r cos theta x and direction will be plus i. Correct? And if theta is negative, this will automatically will become minus i. So, we will need not bother about this. It will be taken care depending on value of theta. Correct. So, projection is nothing but if you have some vector, you want to project that in a particular line. So, in this case, I projected this in x, y, z line. I can also project this guy in some other line. For example, I have some other vector q. And let's suppose this guy is make uh, angle alpha between p and q. I want to find the projection of p on q. So, how will I do? In this case, what I will do is, I will write P cos alpha. P cos alpha will be the projection of this guy along Q. This will be the magnitude, but I have to find direction also. To find direction, what we have to do? I have to find the unit vector of Q, right? There is nothing but you take q vector and divide this guy with magnitude of q. So, this is nothing but direction of this vector. Got it. See, this guy, the whole thing is a vector, right? So, it will have a magnitude. So, this guy becomes magnitude and this guy becomes direction. So, when I am saying I want to project this p vector on q, the magnitude will be, magnitude will be p cos alpha because the angle between this is alpha. Direction will be the unit vector direction of this guy because I'm talking about this direction. So I'll multiply this guy with this. Correct. So we form this is nothing but 1 by q and p cos alpha into q is what is there's nothing but p vector into q vector. Correct. P cos alpha into q is nothing but p dot q vector. So projection of p on q is this. Now let's See what will be the projection of Q on P. So projection of Q on P, the magnitude will still be, I am writing projection of Q on P now. This is projection of P on Q. Correct. Now I am saying projection of Q on P. So Q on P, the, the magnitude will be Q cos alpha, right? Q cos alpha. Because Q I am projecting on this guy, the angle is alpha, so it will be Q cos alpha. 
what will be the direction? The direction will be nothing but my p vector by magnitude of p. Correct? Because I am talking about this direction now. This direction is nothing but p vector by magnitude of p. So this is nothing but q cos alpha into p vector that is nothing but q dot p vector by so this will be projection of q on p and this will be projection of p on q so if you see the difference here is both are p dot q q dot p p dot q both are same actually so you can write p dot q only just that we don't get confused much so both are p dot q but when you say projection of p on q you divide by q magnitude of q when you say projection of q on p you divide by magnitude of p so if you want you can remember if not you can logically also form position of p on q you find the magnitude of p on q it will be p cos alpha now since i am talking about this line q line now so i will find direction of this line direction of line this line is nothing but q vector by magnitude of q when i am talking about position of q on p i will find the magnitude of q on p that will be q cos alpha and direction will be p vector so p vector unit vector is nothing but p vector by magnitude of p and thus we get this one correct so in this case the p is called a projection vector and this guy magnitude of p is called projection so in this case this guy is called projection and this guy is called the whole thing is called projection vector thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.